What's up guys, it's Joel of Punisher's PayPal. Today we are bringing you a comparison shooting video between the uh, Empire Mini GS as well as the Planet Eclipse Etha 2. These are both competitors in the price range of right around that $500 mark or below. Uh, Mini GS comes in a little bit lower than that $500 mark. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll see you guys after the intro. All right, guys, so here we are. We have the Mini GS. We'll start here. Um, this is a beautiful aqua slash orange colorway. Um, we have a Ninja 68 bottle as well as a Spire IR2 on top of this. Um, we are shooting some very brittle uh, Pro Char exact paint. This stuff is breaking from uh, basically from about waist height, um, but this gun, we'll see if it can handle it. And we're just gonna do a shooting profile of this thing here. So first things first, we've got our chrono here. We're gonna shoot it. First shot, 2A1, second shot, 2A6, third shot, 2A5. So actually really consistent. And I believe it's on semi uncapped. So here we go. It must be, it must be capped. because. So if you guys could see that, I was basically able to shoot uh, that four inch, about four inch wide tree out there. And then it was shooting basically ball on ball um, from uh, from here all the way out there. We're probably about a hundred feet out. So that was very good there. All right, so next we're gonna set this marker down. This gun's turned off. I'm gonna turn the air off here. All right, next up we have the Planet Eclipse Etha 2. Uh, this is actually used uh, Etha 2 that's on our website. And same thing here, we've got a Spire 4 this time, uh, or matched up with that Pro Char Exact paint. And we've got an infamous 80 bottle attached to that. We're gonna turn the marker on. Okay, and this gun is in some form of uncapped, like ramping or something like that. So let's see how this bad boy does. I was supposed to turn the hopper on. Bloopers. Bloopers. Oh, we got a crown right here. My bad. 293, 285, 286, 295. All right, we're gonna let this bad boy rip. So the Etha 2 was also very accurate. All right, Joel, now that you've shot both, uh, what did you think, big differences, which one would you shoot if you had the choice between the two? So actually they both shot very well for a price point of that 500 or below. Um, I'm used to obviously shooting higher end models such as like the TM40 or CS2. Um, but overall they both shot great. This does have the gamma core in it. Um, shot very smooth. And uh, overall the sufficiency on this is very good. Mini GS actually, it really did impress me. So this comes in at a price point about 350, whereas the Etha 2 is gonna be right around that $500 mark. I'm actually, from a shooting perspective alone, I'm actually gonna go with the Mini GS. I thought the Mini GS was a little bit more accurate. Um, both of these barrels are in that eight, uh, 6888 to 689 um, bore size. And overall, I felt that the Mini GS was just ball on ball. Um, I'm not sure if there was a problem with the Mini GS or the Etha 2 barrel system being dirty or something like that. But overall, just actually shot extremely well. Ball on ball, very smooth. Um, so I'm actually gonna give it to the Mini GS when it comes to uh, just overall shooting perspective. Uh, you know, as far as features and all that stuff, that's for a different video for a different day. Um, but I'm picking the Mini GS on this shooting comparison video. All 
right, so there you guys have it. That is the Mini GS First Etha 2. Uh, if you guys have any insight on either of these markers, please sound off in the comment section. And as always, uh, either of these markers are available at PunishersPB.com, and we will see you guys at the next one.